Welcome to the Streamer 101 panel here at CGS at the Maxwell Center in Goldsboro, North Carolina, the great city of Goldsboro, North Carolina. Uh, let's start off by introducing our beautiful streamers here. Go ahead, one by one. You got a mic there in front of you. Yeah, have fun with it. I'm the high-heeled gamer, the Oprah of the nerd world. I'm Major Lennox, Marcus Summers. I'm Mickey Marvel. I'm Running Bull, and I'm Skinny Man. All right, so <laughs> let's, uh, <laughs> yeah, wow, got through inter introductions. Oh, my God, the hardest part. Achievement right. unlocked. <laughs> so, uh, so first question for you today is how did you start your streaming career? What motivated you to start? Why are you guys looking at me first? I thought we were going to go that way. I was chilling at my friend's house, and I saw a stream on Justin TV. They were playing StarCraft, and I was like, is this guy playing live? He was like, yeah, and I was just like, I want to do that too. And then I did it, and so it was great. Anyway. do video production, how to do live streaming, how this can tie into very advanced things that nobody should do or could do or would really want to do because it's just live. But um, yeah, like for me, it's just, it's a big academic day. Somebody told me I should do it, so I did it. That's literally how it went down. It was like, you like to play video games, you're already on YouTube, so you should do this. And I was like, okay. So that's exactly how I got started. Inspiring. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> so good. Wow. That's great. Uh, there might have been food involved. Usually <laughs> I can do almost anything for food. So. Nice. Okay. So most of you guys, you well, all of you guys, you have a life outside of streaming. Wow. Really? I mean, yeah, unfortunately. What? Yeah, I know, right? Um, I don't some, know what you're talking about. I mean, some of you guys have kids. How is it balancing everyday life, but also being able to keep up with your with your fans and your and in and, and, and the streaming life, how's how's that? Okay, yeah, I you guess cat. Yeah, okay, you got, you got I guess, it, it will. Okay, so I have three kids, and at the time, my husband was in the military. Um, it was just a matter of figuring out. I, and I was lucky too that my kids were old, so they don't really need me that much. I just needed to cook breakfast, lunch, and dinner. That's it. Um, but it's a matter of figuring out what do they need, are they okay, and then for me, I scheduled it as soon as the youngest went to bed. So as soon as he went to bed, I was gearing up to start streaming. So I didn't start streaming until like about 9.30, 10 o'clock at night, and then I would go till like about 12.30. Um, so I don't, I rarely stream during the day. Um, so it's just a matter of figuring out what's the best thing for your family and for you. Because you got to stay sane, too. So, Yeah, I'll piggyback off of that. Um, like, I built my first streaming PC while my wife was pregnant with our son. Um, and then I started streaming because the fact that I was, getting, I was being kicked out of the bedroom because she was trying to get him to sleep. So I was like, oh, shit, like I got um, hours to kill. Like, why not learn how to stream and then just do it? Um, now, with him being older and also he had um, recently been diagnosed with autism, a lot of my time actually has been spent trying to make sure that everything is okay with my wife and with him. 
Um, so streaming has kind of been taking a kind of a back seat for a bit while we try to figure out this new life. Like um, I've got to get up at six o'clock in the morning to get them off to um, special ed school now. So yeah, staying up pretty late is not in the cards for me anymore. Um, but yeah, it's just a, like what Kat said, it's like trying to find that balance with your family and kind of the passion that you, um, that you want to pursue. Um, I just have so much respect for people that also have children and stream. You all are champions. Um, I admit that I do not have children. Uh, but um, that said, I do still do a lot of things. Obviously, like I have a full-time job outside of streaming. Um, I'm also, I'm just involved in a lot of events, including the Raleigh Community Meetup powered by Twitch, which is just a quarterly networking group for those in the triangle that want to get to know other people who also stream. I think I know all of you because of that, so that's pretty crazy. <laughs> um, but the biggest thing for me is having a good support system, and I'm very lucky that I have the best support system, which is my husband, Ver Wu Lut, who is hanging out in the audience right now. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I mean, he he just posted all of our links in chat just because he thought it'd be a nice thing to do. He's just the best, so. Good support system. That's my answer. Um, you said that too. Sorry. Oh, oh I'm sorry. What have I done? Ouch. Well, I mean, I'm Ouch. <laughs> I have a great support system too. I'm sorry, and I love you. I'll be cooking dinner for the next two weeks. Sorry. We all the same thing, and we would say anything else. So. So I think my wife might be watching, so I am too going to start off with that. She, she supports me in every way. She, she's, she's always like bringing me the food and treats I need to stop. People are going to think like she's over here just slapping me in the background. <laughs> but uh, yeah, support system is, is the key here, right? And like everything, like the topic, right? Balance. Um, I, too, work a full-time job, uh, typically 40 hours, sometimes more. Uh, so when it comes to my wife, I try to make sure I spend enough time with her at the same time as, you know, doing things that need to be done around the house. Mm -hmm. So it's not all on her, yeah. um, which allows me to be able to have spare time for myself to, you know, stream or do any kind of extra, you know, hobbies or things that, that I need to get done, right? So, I mean... That's that's how I balance it. Just you know, take care of those around you, and you know they're they'll be a lot more willing to to support you, right? So true. Okay, I've been streaming since 2012, so I've been through a lot of stages. First girlfriend, no kids. Went to a tournament that messed up my relationship. Great. Second <laughs> girlfriend, awesome. Gaming messed that relationship up. Moving on, new relationship, great. She's got two kids now, so I have two kids, so that's awesome. So same thing with everybody else. I think if you have kids, it's easier to do the school work when they go to sleep, then you can stream. But it all really depends on your personal lifestyle. Everybody's coming from different stages in life. Some people have kids, some people don't. But I think it's, it's pretty easy once you have like a good schedule going. And if she's watching, yay, appreciate you, love support. <laughs> <laughs> you know? If not, it's all good. All right, yeah. Um, my next question is, is what was your first game that you started streaming and why? Oh, uh, oh my gosh. Ghost Ghost oh, yeah, go, yeah. Yeah, go skinny. Uh, go, yeah. So I did I Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 just because I was good at that game, and I liked it, and that's what helped me grow. But we'll talk about that later. Uh, my first game that I streamed was Kingdom Hearts. They re they re released the collection edition before uh, Kingdom Hearts 3. Started playing that, and then I'm rotated into Kingdom Hearts 3. Um, I'm a big I'm big into the RPGs games because they take a while to beat. And I was part of a larger you know group slash clan because of the mobile game. So um, that was the first game, and they provided me the support that I needed as a fresh streamer. Uh, the f I'm going to turn this around on you. The, the first thing I started streaming was cosplay. Um, I love cosplay, and uh, I just kind of wanted to start with that. Uh, that said, at the time, like, I did not have 
hardly anything. It was a lot of like me doing work and then being like, I just did this. <laughs> you can't see any of the work I just put in. So um, I still like doing cosplay streaming every once in a while, but it's such a unique challenge and uh, very glad that I play games now on stream sometimes when I feel like it. Glad I've made that transition. <laughs> For me, it was either Warframe or Resogun or whatever that creepy puppet-looking game that was on PS4. I think it was like one of the PS Plus games when the system came out. Because again, like those are the only things I were on the PS4. When I hit that Twitch button, it's like I don't know. Like I guess one of these things. Maybe it was no Assassin's Creed came out long after the launch. So yeah, so yeah, Resogun maybe. I'll just say that and just move on with it. Um. So for me. I felt like I had to play the catch-up game because everybody was already streaming. So I actually started off with two games. Um, first half of the week, I would stream Gears of War 4, and then the second half of the week, I was streaming Resident Evil 7. So those were the two that I started. I, uh, I love horror games. That's the only horror thing I like. I don't like horror movies. Um, and I was a big Gears of War fan, so I was like, oh, I'm going to play stuff that I like. So with that being said, let's see if we can, you know, dig deep. What's new coming out for any of you guys? Any new games that you're play gonna be playing? Any new stuff that you're gonna be doing? That's coming out. That you or that you're about to do that nobody knows about yet. Oh. I'm trying to dig down into the secrets. Putting it on the table. Yeah, on the table. The inside us. information. I know. I, it's because Spill the dew. Spill I, kn I Spill know. The dew. Spill <laughs> it. I'm gonna copy whatever you do. <laughs> um so i took a break from twitch and i went to youtube and that's been going pretty fun um and i went to florida and my brother-in-law asked me if i've played the new call of duty and i told him no because i suck at call of duty um and he handed me the controller and was like man up i was like all right I'm gonna show you how bad I suck. But I ended up having so much fun. We played for hours on it and my sister was like, you guys are losers. And I was like, no, we're not. Um, and then I came home and I was like, I'm gonna go back on Twitch and do a good get good series where people can follow me from suckage to hopefully skinny, skinny man's level. <laughs> suckage to skinny. <laughs> to, to skinny man's level. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, um, so that's happening. Will. You're welcome. Wow. <laughs> um, for those who don't know, like, so yeah, for, I'm Major Linux, so a lot of the stuff that I do is a lot of um, IT stuff, a lot of Linux stuff. I like to stream a lot of that. That's actually how I got my job at NC State, so yeah, shout out to ECE department over there. Um, the next things I'm planning on streaming is kind of some Raspberry Pi tutorials, and I'm not sure if you guys have heard of the Mister. But apparently it's um like a classic games console, like a little thing about the size of a Raspberry Pi. You can put all the um, retro console cores on there. And it's a pretty cool project, something I want to dig into and kind of get back behind the code of that stuff and show people, hey, it's really easy to do, really fun to do, or at least I think it is. I know. Well, it's because this awkward thing where you two are sharing and you two are sharing, and then this is. I'm trying. You're special. I'm You're special. Just like someone take it. I, I don't. I don't know. It's new to me because I have to hold it. It's not like suspended in air. Like, like <laughs> this is weird. Like, just manual labor. I don't even lift it, so I don't know anything. <laughs> uh, so, so currently, I've been playing way too much Stardew Valley. Uh, I kind of started the game not seriously, and I've been very addicted, and it's been intense. Um, but. This game and slash stream that I am really looking forward to right now uh, is so the new Ghostbusters movie is coming out in May. So I really want to play the Ghostbusters <laughs> game and wear a little Ghostbusters costume and play through all of it before that movie comes out. It's so dumb. I'm so excited. That's awesome. That's actually really good. What? What happened? I don't know. <laughs> I'm just going with it right now. Uh, so originally, uh, the next game I was planning to stream would be Final Fantasy VII, the remake, but they decided to keep that away from me. And uh, so, yeah, that sucks. Um, right now, I'm on Dragon Ball Z Kakarot, so 
to fill in that gap, mm. I will be doing the Kingdom Hearts 3. They, they just dropped the new DLC, oh, the Remind. Yeah, yeah. So I will be probably crying inside from <laughs> being defeated a lot of times. So, yeah. So I think I'm getting back into streaming. I haven't really stopped, but I think I want to go more to, like, YouTube side of things where, like, I have this idea. It's, it's a 100-day challenge, YouTube Skinny Man plug. Anyway, <laughs> where my personal challenge for myself is more of the fitness side, but I don't want to push that on other people. I want to push, like, you can do 100 days of anything because, you know, make or break a habit takes 28 days, 26 for some, but I feel like that's too short and people relapse. So if you want to get better, like, your career or school or job or basketball, it doesn't necessarily have to be my what I'm doing. I think the physical representation of, like, my body transformation is going to be that metaphor for your mindset from when you start and then you put forth, or if you're not knowing what you want to do in life, at least you get into the right direction to hopefully inspire people to do something with their life. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Now so that's YouTube. Now we're going to have to get on Skinny Man's no, level I even mean, more. Right, like I'm sitting there wondering, like, yo, like, I mean, I know we got award winner in 2019 author here, but I'm like 2020 author of the year. Yeah. 2020. When's book? When the book coming out? 2020. Right. When I want to inspire everybody to do yeah. something with their life. I hate it. <laughs> yeah. So uh, we are opening up the chat. So if anybody in the chat wants to uh, drop any questions that they may have, we do have one, and it's the: uh, What are your thoughts about the different uh, streaming platforms? Uh, this is especially for new streamers. Give them a little bit of tips about it. So you're the pro. Start with the pro. I think Twitch is super saturated, in my personal opinion. I think it's very difficult, unless you know of like friends or family to help support you. I start with that. I think Mixer is on the rise because they just bought out Ninja and Shroud. I don't see that going anywhere. And plus, it's Microsoft. I feel like Facebook gaming is a sleeper. I feel like not a lot of people are like, "Oh man, I'm gonna do it," but I feel like they're not going anywhere because it's Facebook. But I feel. Anything is really worth trying and see which one fits your personal persona. Uh, so for me, right, um, obviously I'm probably the newest streamer here at the table. I started uh, out looking at the numbers that each platform had, right? Uh, YouTube, they, by a long shot, I'll, I'll be everyone. Twitch, Next, Mixer, and then Facebook somewhere on the bottom, like way down there. <laughs> um, yeah, he is correct. Uh, Facebook would be a sleeper. Um, although, thanks to streamers like Ninja, Shroud, Tifu, like all these big names that everybody hears, right? Twitch has become this this pool that everybody wants to go to Twitch, right? Um, even though it's a little bit saturated, I feel like Twitch is that middle ground when it comes to starting. Yes, it's always good to have your support, your friends, People join in, they help build up. They're the ones that help build out your name. I see you smiling, uh, you're like, oh, uh, uh. <laughs> so for me, Twitch would be a good middle ground to start if that's you. But again, that's just my opinion. Yeah. <laughs> um, so I think part of what new streamers need to consider is uh, f first of all, just what they're doing. So if a game is saturated on one platform and not another, um, also kind of like at what point they're at in, in their sales funnel. So are they at a point where, you know, honestly, all you're going to get is like your friends streaming? Or do you have a whole bunch of people on a platform already that you can direct them to another platform or are they already on there? So, uh, for example, uh, I've had a lot of friends that are like actually really, really big on YouTube, and I kept telling them like, oh, you should stream on Twitch. But then I realized, Nikki, you silly goose, they're already on YouTube. They got those sweet, sweet K numbers of subscribers. They should just be streaming on YouTube and using that existing audience. Um, so uh, I think you just have to ask yourself, like, where are you at? What works best for you? For me, I ultimately chose Twitch because I wanted to be part of the culture of Twitch specifically, um, which is a whole other thing. Like, each specific streaming platform does have a slightly different um, culture. Um, but that was how I decided. But there are so many factors for you to keep in mind. 
I mean, like, again, like I said, the only reason I chose Switch is because it was on the PS4. But given now that there are so many technologies out there for young, from beginning streamers to really just get their foot in the door, I don't think you should have to choose because the stuff is out there. Um, you can get XSplit and stream to every platform available. They allow that in their software. You have companies like Restream where you can send your stream to them and they'll handle it for you on their end. Um, and again, speaking of crazy things that I do, I built my own restreaming service. So I can stream that out of my house and I'm an affiliate on Twitch. And hey, if they hear me now, I guess by the time I get home, I won't be affiliate anymore, <laughs> but I don't care because like, I do not, yeah, like I feel like if you have that ability to be on everything, be on everything. Don't be restricted unless they're paying you 20 to $30 million. And for certain platforms, I'll take a million. Um, <laughs> but yeah, like unless, like unless there is something that is keeping you from actually being on all, and if you are starting out, don't limit yourself to one platform. It's ridiculous. Be on all of them, see where it goes, and then maybe foster that community or maybe not. Like just make sure you're giving equal time to all. There are tools out there for you to do it. There's no excuse to not be on everything. If you really want to be out there, put yourself put yourself out there on everything. Yeah, um, I'm actually gonna. Uh, so, I'm the oldest streamer here, um, and for me, it's basically I'm I'm gonna tell you what are your goals. Are you just trying to make a name for yourself? Are you trying to be just affiliate? Are you trying to be just partner? depending on those goals you have to look at each platform and what do they have to offer because none of them are the same one place will tell you well i need you to do 30 days consecutive the other one will tell you well we need you to have this many viewers so you have to do your research as to what's comfortable for you um i started off with twitch because that's what the person told me like hey you should go on twitch because this is what you like so i did it but then I got affiliate and I was like, what the hell is this? Like, I didn't even know. I didn't know these were options, you know what I mean? Outside of YouTube. Um, and then and then I started learning about Mixer and that YouTube does the streaming too. It's not like you have to um, upload just the already made video. Um, and then I started researching. I'm like, well, this is different than this and this doesn't have what this has. And part of the reason why I left twitch for a while is because i have depression and anxiety that's a real thing for me and the chat is way too toxic for me to handle i already have life i don't and i'm doing gaming for fun i don't do gaming to be a professional because i'm not i suck at games but they're fun um and i don't need the extra toxicity toxicity in my life and i was like i'm out so it's just a matter of what are you trying to do? Are you trying to have fun and you're away from home and you just want your friends to see what you're doing? Do you want affiliate? And then figure out which platform's best for you. Because what works for you doesn't work for me and what works for me doesn't work for you. So if you're new, you've got options. Don't just go with Twitch because we're all on Twitch. That's not a thing. <laughs> I mean, yeah, exactly. Because the whole point of streaming is you have to stand out. You have to stand out. You can't just be the same repetitive thing because people are not going to watch you. People are going to watch the people that have already been doing it. So. And for and for the record, I don't think you suck at games. You're just a really good role player. Like we'll go in and we'll kill everybody, and then you just pick up all the stuff that we just did. I do. I I have shots too, but they're not like double digits. I've got you're, like two you're a support kills. Player. It's good. It's good. We understand. <laughs> you're, you're great. At, you're great. At, you're great at your job. All right. Uh, so we have a. Uh, I think you got a fan there in the chat. There, Skinny said, uh, "I thought I was your favorite viewer." SMH. <laughs> oh. That's tough. That's tough. Oh, spilling the tea here. Yeah. Mm. What? You know uh, all about the tea. So, um, mm -hmm. uh, Running Bull, it says that, uh, asked if, uh, do your friends and family support you a lot? I know you touched on that earlier. If you want to touch for, uh, for your streamer fan there. Ooh. Call it out. Yeah. 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 Do, do they support? Do they? It might be, it might be your wife, man. Sorry. Yeah. Wife. <laughs> oh, I know who that is. That definitely ain't the wife. She's gonna, she would have just called me directly. <laughs> she wouldn't be. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, in the middle. She's like, 
And then you'll have like a series of texts like, why aren't you answering? <laughs> nah, I need to stop. <laughs> um, yes, uh, that's where um, a lot of my support comes and that's why it helps motivate me to keep you know, going through it, right? Um, um, obviously, I have other viewers that, that come and stop by, you know, say, hey, you know, they're, they're more comfortable with me. I mean, this is again how I met some of the people that are here today, right? Um, but yes, family, friends, they help out a lot. And this is, to m again, as I stated before, and that you probably hear plenty of times, um, when you're first starting out, that is, you know, the best kind of support you can have. So my um, question, because, you know, I'm curious too, uh, how much of a grind is streaming? How much of a grind is it day by day to get your name out there, <laughs> to get yourself noticed? What do you got to go through? It's, yeah, it's, it's, well, let's it's, hear, let's hear, let's hear, man. It's sacrifices, man. Like, I, I don't want to, like, be too real. Like, I've, I've lost friends. I've lost relationships. I know, I'm, I'm just, I'm just saying, like, the, the grind is that real. Like, where you don't, you cut, you have to cut off everybody for what you love, you know? if. It's say, for instance, if you love basketball or you like to be a lawyer or a doctor and people are not supportive, it's kind of like, well, it's my life or yours and you can't live my life, you know? So my coming up was a little bit different than probably most. My parents never supported my gaming. My mom cursed the day she put a controller in my hand. But it's like, it's like I had nobody. I didn't have this, yeah. you know, coming up. If I had this, I'd be in California right now, like calling y'all up, like let's <laughs> pop the bottles. <laughs> right, right, right. I have y'all now, I'm but I mean, like, it's, it's, it's pretty, late. it's pretty. Okay. It's never too late. No, oh. no. But it's it's pretty serious. Like yeah. when you want to do something or you open up like your own business, sometimes you got to just go for it. Mm -hmm. And if they're not with you, they're if they're not going to be at your funeral, then why 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 does it bother you? And then faster you get to that point. I yeah. mean, I, be, I go to your funeral, man. I, I say a couple words. I know. I appreciate it. Live streamed, I'll be there. <laughs> yeah, 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 live, live stream it. Live stream it. We'll all attend. <laughs> I'm about to need some bits and everything. <laughs> drop, bit, drop bits for skinny. <laughs> rest, rest in peace, Kel. Elves, elves all the way down. <laughs> uh, skinny, you know, he's spot on with it, right? I mean, it's... it's it, it is a sacrifice, um, and in the end, like everything in life, a real friend is going to be there for you no matter what. They're, a real friend will is the type of person that tries to bring you up. They're going to try to help you. They're going to be there any way that they can. Skinny. Skinny. Time, skinny. Oh, oh, you're being time. summoned. You gotta you're go. being summoned. He's playing in a tournament as well. He, he wants Jeb to play for him. Why, why does he sound like, yo, are you sure you want this dude, that dude, that guy, <laughs> that guy, <laughs> that guy, <laughs> that Jeff? So he, what you're going to do? These are the sacrifices you have to take. Are you Look, sure? This is this, the grind. This is the, this is the this grind. grind. That's the representation. We're demonstrating the grind. <laughs> My man is in the quarterfinals and he just turned it down. This is why he's the pro. Yeah, what a sacrifice. That way he's going to blame Thank you Jeff for proving our loses. point. Yeah, sorry. Oh, yeah. I'm here for you, man. <laughs> We're all here for you. Support That's system. I'm here. That's I'm support here. system. <laughs> um, but yeah. It, Skinny's right, right? Um, a friend that's going to be there for you is going to be there for you. They're, they're always there to help further you, to help, help build you up. So um, luckily, I haven't been in a situation where it's too much of a sacrifice. Again, I, I, I stream around, you know, everything else. I, I'm, I build. So I always tell my wife, I'm like, this day, this day, I'm definitely 100% going to stream. Um, these other days, you know, I'm going to try to knock out all this other stuff. I'm going to dedicate this much time I'm to hang out. But again, it's balance. But yeah. Yeah. 
Right. No, well, you're so kind. Right. That's all it is. Um, so for me, I try not to see streaming as a grind only because sometimes I feel like that has like a slightly negative connotation, right? Like I, I want to stream because I want to stream, not because, and yes, I have to put in the work, but hopefully I want to put in the work because I love it. Um, but definitely the hardest thing for me is, uh, it happens to me pretty frequently, honestly, is about 30 minutes before my stream starts, my brain uh, kicks in. I definitely um, have like anxiety and um, just some mental health things that I deal with. Uh, so sometimes my brain kicks in and it's just like, why are you even streaming tonight? You're going to get a solid zero <laughs> viewers. I know that feeling. Yeah. And so it can, I mean, I, I will literally just sit at my computer and I will just stare at the start streaming button. I'm like, <sighs> I mean, I just, but I'll tell you, lately, every single time I've hit start streaming, I've had the best time, and it's so great. And so while that's the hardest thing for me, um, also, my brain lies to me. So that's, that's the big thing that I try to keep in mind. My brain is lying to me. I enjoy streaming, and I will have fun once I hit start streaming. Yeah. So that's my grind. <laughs> like, thinking about this question, it was more or less like, if you do what you love, you'll never work a day in your life. That is bull. So my, like, for people who actually own their own businesses, they can tell you that is a lie and like five halves. Um, and this is one of those things. If, even if you love streaming, it's something that, you know, you're going to have to put in that work for. And for a lot of people, like, yeah, like it's going to be that grind if that's the thing you want to do, if that's the business that you want to put yourself into. But some of us who you know, who have nine to fives who are actually pretty happy with that and stream because they want to stream, because they like the stream, they like the community that they can foster behind it. Or for me, I use it as much as somebody thought I got hired in NC State to be a teacher. I was like, I can't teach anything. But again, like I said, I got a job at NC State because I was streaming things I was teaching people how to do. So doing stuff like that, I enjoy, and that's not a grind for me because like, yeah, I can like, all right, there's this and there's this and that. If anybody wants to listen, that's fine. If not, it'll be here for somebody to enjoy later. So I'm like, I tend not to think about that. I tend not to think about the grind because eventually it's going to happen. Right now I'm going to make this content now because something will come of it. Something did come of it because I made it because it's like, I mean, I, I won't stream now because nobody's going to watch it. Well, someone watch it later and you know, now I've got this amazing job because somebody totally watched it later. So, yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so for me, uh, again, I didn't know what was happening. So I literally was streaming in my living room with my Kinect and my PlayStation Eye camera. Um, and then I met Skinny and then I met um, Major Linux and they were like do you have OBS and I'm like what is that <laughs> and they're like well are you streaming on your computer and I'm like I don't have a computer <laughs> and they sat me down and they told me everything and I was like oh I've been doing this wrong this whole entire time not wrong. Uh, no so wrong like beyond wrong um so once I figured everything out it was like oh I need a mic and then Major Linux was like well I have a mic for you and I was like thank you and then it was like well, I need a camera. And then I found out later on, no, I don't need a camera because nobody needs to see my face. And then it was like, oh, you need a green screen. Oh, you need this, you need that. And I'm like, God, Jesus. And by the time I figured it all out, I was like, okay, now I have to put in this work. And at first I was sacrificing sleep, which is the worst thing somebody with depression and anxiety can sacrifice. Um, and I was working, I was working full time my husband was in the military. I had two kids in college. I had one kid starting school, and now I wanted to be a streamer full time. Thank you. Yeah, and not to mention, not to mention, we have a house and everybody has to eat. Like that's a real thing. Like he's he's in the military. I'm cooking breakfast, you lunch, dinner. You are a true hero. No, no, I'm really not. Um, so for me, I was like, all right, I'm gonna put in this work, and I put in the work, and I sacrificed sleep, and I got affiliate, and I was like oh my God, I can totally do this. Like, like it gassed up my head. I was like, I could totally do this. And next thing you know, I mean, I'm gonna be real about it. Next thing you know, I'm being medicated because I wasn't sleeping and my depression got the best of me and the house went to shit. And 
it's a it's a hassle i mean if you have kids balance that life first figure out what your kids need figure out what your spouse needs figure out what your house needs because that's another thing too you forget to dust you forget to mop you forget to sweep because you're like i'm streaming i have to stream on time my viewers are going to watch on time so you have to schedule everything if you don't have that kind of life sleep for the love of god sleep if nothing else Oh yeah, and eat. That's the thing. Yeah, that's it. Eating, eating, and sleeping. Yeah. Sometimes I, so, sometimes I used to eat on stream and like turn off my camera. And I'm like, <laughs> yeah. That's not. That's not a thing for me. Switch us over to ASMR real quick. Yeah, yeah. But you just played a pasta. Yeah. But the grind is the grind is real, and if you don't take care of yourself your grind is going to end like you're just because you're going to be worn out and you're going to like f it i don't care so so with that being said you know you said you got affiliate and you were just so happy yeah. you know, it made it made it feel like it's worth it yeah. give me some other stories from you guys whether it's been you know a donation in chat you know or a fan that's been following you for the longest time that you finally gave moderator to and that they've been sitting in there for three years, skinny. Um, uh, <laughs> Dang. Uh, how does how does it how does it feel to have that type of stuff come through? You know, give me a little bit of insight on that. Okay. Okay. Yeah, go ahead. Okay. Whichever way. Um. So there are several things that happened for me. Um. I don't know where to begin. <laughs> um. People started recognizing me at cons, which was super weird. Um, cause they would go, you're the high hill gamer. And I'm like, maybe what did I do wrong? Like, it was just like, no, we saw your stream. And I'm like, oh, you're the two people that watch. Got it. Um, and then, uh, I'm because one of, of those. Hey, I'm one of those. you are one of those, I, I got notifications <laughs> on. <laughs> um, and then when I left, when I left, um, cause I was doing YouTube as well, but I was just doing, um, other high heel gamer stuff on YouTube. And because of those two things, I was actually offered um, a co-hosting job for a TV show that we filmed the first season and it's getting marketed to Netflix. Um, so that's like the mecca for me. And so now we've been promoting it and stuff like that. So I'm not even close to being famous. I hear you, Beyonce. Go ahead, girl. Bit, with your so. <laughs> no, 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 no. Um, so I mean, everything from, and then, and then also the friends that you make, like legit. I mean, I know I've just met you, but you're like super cool. But Skinny and I have known each other for years. Marcus and I have known each other for years. We've worked together. Mickey and I have known each other going on, oh, we've just discovered going on like almost 11 years that we've known each other. And it's just nice when you get to meet your people. And by that, it's like nobody's above anybody else. We're all friends. We're all helping each other. Skinny's giving me tips. Marcus is giving me tips. I don't give them tips because I suck. But <laughs> but support I support player. them. Yeah, and support but player. I support them by viewing, sharing their stuff. And um, when they go live, I try to remember to, like, you know, post it as, and stuff like that. Usually I'm like, I got to go see him. And then I forget to post, but usually I try to. So, I mean, those kinds of things, is, it makes it all worthwhile, the lack of sleep. <laughs> Um, for me, it's just the recognition of skill and the things that I do. Um, I was on, so like I've been on actually Twitch's front page twice already. I was there for code.org, Hour of Code, um, where I was kind of going through like their little thing where you can get like little characters to dance. Um, so Twitch, um, they were looking up, they were looking for people who had ba um, computer science background. I just hit, sent a DM and said, yeah, hey, I'm one of those guys. And they came back and said, yeah, so we want you to be on the front page and kind of do the stuff for code.org. And, like, it was one of the best experiences I've ever had. Um, and then for charity streaming, somebody was looking for char um, charity streamers, like POC charity streamers. So, like, yeah, um, I happen to be one of those people, again. Um, and I actually run a couple of um, different arms of the um, Extra Life, um, the charity I work with. And sure enough, I was on that panel, and then that panel because it was a lot, of, a whole bunch of POC talking about streaming on Twitch. I was on front page again, almost a year to the day later, uh, a year to the day, again. So for people to recognize what it is that I'm doing, the, the positive impacts that I'm having on society, 
Hey, you're being summoned. You're summoned again. You won. Oh, my gosh. Wait, wait. No, I'm sorry. Wait, 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 wait. Did he won or Jeff won? He won. He won. Oh, so <laughs> great, Ryan. What? He's got to come now. Can he play again? Is that okay? Uh, I'll see. Okay. Ooh. 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 Oh my <laughs> goodness! <laughs> such skill that, such skill there. Um, but yeah, like recognizing skill to where you know. I'm being put in amazing positions to kind of not only to uplift myself, but uplift the communities that I work with and for um, so that we can all get those opportunities and grow together. Um, I am definitely still growing as a streamer. So for me, every single time I see someone in chat, uh, especially someone I know in real life, um, it takes me back. Like, I'm just like, Oh, you're here. <laughs> Whoa. And it like truly blows my mind and, and just makes me feel so humble. Um, but I will share one specific thing, and I told someone about it earlier today, is that sometimes my mom stops by in chat. Oh. And yeah. Um, and like, I love how like my chat has like, took my mom's side before in <laughs> chat. Uh, they like at her and they're like, Mama Marvel's here. And she was just talking to me one day and she was just like, well, I just love how your chat knows me and how they at me every time. And those were her words and I was like, whoa, she knows what's up. <laughs> like, this is incredible. Um, so that's uh, one of the big ones for me. Every time somebody stops by and Mama Marvel in chat. <laughs> Um, for me, I'm just going to do like an exception of family and friends that stop by. For me, I just enjoy like meeting and getting to know like new people like from all over the world, right? I, I have people that stop by that's like in Mexico. I've had people that's like in Italy. It's like, it's kind of crazy, right? And, and for me, it, it, it feels really good. And I'm not talking about like if they subscribe or something yeah. that that's yeah. extra, yeah. right? Yeah. I, d I d if they do, they do. They don't, they don't. That's whatever. Just just to get a nosy people is it, honestly the coolest for me. Just the other day, I kind of like stopped my stream because there's this, I, he seems on the younger side. He seems like a kid. You know, he's, I know he's in Mexico. And like, he was watching my stream while in school and asking me to help him with his homework. <laughs> <laughs> so, so I, I, I took Were time. You helping him? I, I, I did. It, it was, that is awesome. That's yeah, that is awesome. awesome. <laughs> yeah, because he, he, he's always like. Trying what kind to of homework me. was he it? He follows though? me on Instagram. Well, what kind of homework was it though? It, uh, English. He was like trying to practice English. Oh, oh my god, that's cool. So, so, cool. so I was over there part of the time trying to Google Translate, and I'm like, <laughs> he's like, what's this mean? I'm like, give me a second. Give me I'm like, I try to beat the boss real quick. I'm like, all right, yeah, yeah, here it is, here it is. And then I, he was like, I don't know what I, so third linear like sentences or oh. something. I forget. I was like, yo, I'm I'm too over that. I was like, <laughs> I was, I had to look that up myself. Yeah. So, but yeah, cool though. yeah, situations like that is, is pretty legit. And then again, there's like this other guy, he stops by whenever he can. He runs his own behavioral clinic. And, um, you know, like I said, for me, the best part of it is, you know, just getting to know these people. Um, I mean, I grew up with my brothers and cousins watching me play, uh, you know, locally, right? So, so this is just an extension of that. So I enjoy seeing viewers just like just like you when they pop in and they Ooh, say hey. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> viewers like you. Viewers. <laughs> viewers. We get tote bags now. I know, right? <laughs> like uh, so, like people that I've known for a long time, when they pop in and say hey, it's always good to see like familiar faces, familiar names. Obviously, uh, when you go to events and you get to meet new people, like I just met you. Like you're you're the new guy, yeah, okay? I'm, I'm just letting you know you're the new guy. guy. But you're not the new guy after today, though, so it's yeah, all good. It. But um, meeting like people that I've never seen before, and you play games with them, it's crazy. Like one time I was walking in Walmart with uh, 
with one of one of my girlfriends. X, 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 X girl, X girlfriend, X, 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 two X's. Okay. And I was walking to no, it was crazy. I was walking to the register, and this kid out of nowhere was like Skinny Man, and I was just like, nobody calls me by that in like normal public, and it was just crazy. It's like yo, I follow you, and it's like. Awesome! <laughs> and we take a picture. And like, um, like right now we're in Goldsboro. My my girlfriend lives, or she works in Goldsboro. And I went to a store just to ask some questions. And he was like, "I think I know you." And I was just like, "This was literally like two weeks ago." I promise you. He was like, "You're skinny man, right?" And I was just like, "Yeah," because <laughs> it, it's still so weird being in like normal public and people yeah. are like, they know your face, and it's it's that's pretty cool, you know, seeing that come back full fold. It, it makes you humble. You know? Yeah, tell me about that, especially when you know, you're walking out of a random Apple store and all of a sudden, like, <laughs> why did you buy that here? <laughs> yeah, so, so if y'all don't know, I, I've seen Marcus in the mall many times, and I just ran into him. Only just in this one, just one store. Only one store. <laughs> no other store. Yeah. It's crazy. So we got like 5,000 people in here in this one tiny room watching. Uh, do we have any questions from the audience? Anybody? Don't be shy. Don't be shy. There we go. Okay. Hold on. Let me make <laughs> you got to do the Yeah, I'm... I'm <laughs> Phil Donahue. Phil Donahue. Thank you. So the streamers, and mainly for the ones who've kind of uh, been around for a little bit longer, uh, and, and maybe even for Running Wolf, he's had had a, a lot of interactions. Um, what is like your favorite facet for interacting with your fan base? Is it through Twitch, or do you use Twitter a lot, or? Oh, mine is easy. Instagram. Instagram. Instagram is my favorite. Do it for the gram, girl. I, I do do it for the gram all the time. Be careful, it's a thirst trap. I mean, yeah. shut up, Linus. <laughs> shut up. I mean, for me, it's anywhere. Like, I'm available anywhere. If you've got any questions or anything, like, yo, just hit me up. I'm Major Linux everywhere. And I, that's what I tell people. So, hey. I am very into Twitter right now. So, that's usually pretty good. But look, Discord. <laughs> I love Discord so much. Um, yeah, that's it. <laughs> um, as you said, right, I'm pretty new, so I'm more of everywhere, right? It's about getting my name out there. So I have Twitter, I got Instagram, I got uh, Twitch, uh, Discord servers that I'm already part of, you know, just, you know, talking, getting to know people wherever I can, get your name out there, right? So that's my answer. I think Snapchat is safe as long as you don't share your location because I've not gonna lie, I've had stalkers that call literally like my job. I said sorry. Oh, no, 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 it's my bad. <laughs> but it's, it's, it's pretty scary. Like when you start putting yourself out there, you gotta have to protect yourself and protect like your family, because these people will look you up. Yeah. You know, I'm not trying to tell y'all to turn your location services off. No, do it. But no, turn um, it off. yeah, you, I've had a person call my job. I was at a tournament. They called the restaurant. I was at another place. Like it's it's pretty serious. But I like to use Snapchat because it's safe. I don't put my location services on because you can literally find anybody anywhere. But I can at least chat live, and I get that notification straight to my phone. I can reply back really quick or do like a fun video for somebody. But of course, I use like Instagram, Twitter. I just think Snapchat is a lot faster for me. But everybody's got their own thing, you know. Yeah. Um. To piggyback real quick, stalkers are a real thing. At yeah. one point, I legit had three stalkers. My bad. My bad. Yeah. Yeah. And um, it was pretty scary because for a while I was running. Uh, every time I went to a con, I would go with three people because you have to promote where you're going so people can, you know, meet up with you and or see you or whatever and. These guys were like, oh, we will be there. And I'm like, oh, well, shit. So for a while, I had two bodyguards and my husband with me at all times. And I can't, I, I don't remember what happened, but I ended up by myself at the con. And literally, one person just like came up to me, like behind me and everything. And he was like, did you miss me? And I'm like, who? And, I, and as soon as I saw his face, I was like, oh, this is how I die. Like, this is oh, it. Man. Like, it was that scary. Like, legit, turn off your locations. Like, don't even do it. Yeah, it was super scary. Yeah. I can understand, like, cutting off your locations. But this is my question to Skinny Man specifically. Yo, you, you're, you're 
your way of Snapchat. Like, what are you sending these people, man? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> are you, are you, are you sending them, like, feet pics? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> I promise to God. He's trying, trying to get in that ESPN nude issue? <laughs> like, look, esports is on the rise. <laughs> Recognize us as athletes. Thank you. So that's where the donations come from. Yeah, yeah. Right. Sp he, speaking of donations. He, he, create, only he, he created OnlyFans. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of donations, we got uh, we got another question in the chat. It says, I have a question for the panel if anyone is watching this. Yes, I am. Thank you. Uh, what are some of the, and it actually means hardships because autocorrect is really dumb. Um, what are some of the hardships uh, that you had entering st streaming platforms and how did you overcome them so we don't make the same mistake? Also, if Running Bull, if you can answer with shirtless, they have donations. <laughs> That's for real? But that's what How says. much is Let's that see donation? That mammal first of all, that like, <laughs> like, if I can walk out of here and quit my job, then maybe. <laughs> also, somebody wants Skinny's premium Snapchat. Selling bath water, Selling bath water. That was a fail. How are they getting, how are they getting these Pornhub numbers? And we, we just missing out. Yeah, we are. Okay. So, so, so the, the hardship, hardships, hardships in any of the platforms, you know, how, do, how, do you, how do you overcome them so they don't make the same mistakes? Um, follow the rules. Like, that's and, a big one. I, I, I know that's, so I know that sounds. So keep your clothes on. Keep yeah. your clothes on. What? Yeah. Like, I come from the era where there was a lot of rules and regulations before Amazon bought out Twitch, and there was rules. There's still rules to this day, and it sounds like, oh, you have the freedom to do anything. You kind of actually don't, mm -hmm. believe it or not. Like, uh, streaming, I know you can stream to everything, but just like you said, hopefully you still have your channel when you get back home. Oh, no, it's just affiliate status I would lose. Oh, okay, yeah. okay. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I would just say follow the rules. I think hardships is really don't get discouraged because it's very easy to get discouraged when you only see, like, one person. Or none. Or none. Or that person that came, like, for every day for a week and they don't show up for another week, but you don't know they went on vacation. It's kind of hard to, like, bounce back from that, but just kind of just push through that. It's easier said than done, but, but yeah. Uh, so for me, right, uh, in regards to hardships, when I first started out, uh, I was one of those people that kept making excuses. Oh, I don't have this. I need to get this before I can start streaming. I need to do this. But the, the truth is, like, I've seen people legit, like, have their phone camera out, and then they'll be, like, recording slash streaming their TV while they're, like, playing, like, Smash Bros or something. And... And you know, those are the things that if you really want to stream, you need to just mm -hmm. get out or do it and just build up slowly. Like for me, I didn't have all the money in the world. I started out on PlayStation console. Um, I kept looking out for sales and built up my PC from there to, to get me to the point where I could be a little bit more professional with my streams, right? Um, in regards to motivation, again, in my situation, I've been lucky enough to have you know, more of a support system, people that, that come in and are always there to help try to carry on the conversations and and keep keep it more lively, right? So I was lucky in that factor. No no rush, but we got like three minutes. No rush, oh, but oh three okay. minutes. Look, my no panel is the one after this one. I'm okay. Oh, okay, well, that's fine. That's if you're okay cool. with that, that's fine. Yeah. I'm, I'm, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, we'll talk. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> just, just well, that would be the show because it's two guys and one girl, so there you go. <laughs> We've been replaced, Jimmy. Sorry. Um, my oh, yeah. big, my big piece of advice as far as like hardships that I experienced was, um, you know, if you're streaming on a potato, don't let it get you down. Um, for me, I mean, I still I have it all the time because I just try to have as much going on on my channel as possible, and then my computer's like, I can't handle this. And when I first started, I would let every single little thing get me down. If the sound was not good, or if like I was a little laggy, or like every single little thing would get to me. And now somebody's like, eh, "Mickey, you're lagging a little," and I'm like, "Well, that's all right. We're just doing our best today." <laughs> um, yeah. So that's my big recommendation: is just you know, it's gonna happen. <laughs> Okay, I started streaming. I didn't have a table. I had cardboard boxes. I had a laptop. I didn't have a PC. I 
sorry mom, I lied to my mom and told her that I needed this computer for school and she bought me one and I really needed it for Diablo 3. <laughs> and I took that, I still have that laptop, it's, it's a piece of crap laptop, it was on four boxes, Xbox, wooden box, I had a, a chair like this, had a little webcam and my quality was crap. I didn't have the best resolution, but I had good content. And so uh, kind of like, to piggyback off y'all, it you don't have to really start out with the best. Yes. Start somewhere, yeah. you know, and then build from there. Mm -hmm. And the people that are gonna be with you in the beginning, they're gonna be with you in the end, you know? So if, hope I'm a living testimony that I didn't have that stuff. Yeah. And, and, I made it, and I made it work. Not only is this man giving up tournaments, but he's playing off a of cardboard box. Or something. I'm playing off a of cardboard box? That's awesome. Yeah, it's, it's, in, it's in a YouTube video. Like, I, I, I had nothing. Like, literally nothing. So, yeah, it, it can happen. It can happen. You just gotta kind of call. <laughs> I just gotta, I gotta, I gotta call her today. Be like, you know what I did <laughs> eight years yeah, ago? Mama, you remember that? Uh, I'm sorry. I didn't use it for school, but, but yeah. Yeah, that's why I have more to that story, but whatever. Next. I know we're like two minutes. Oh uh, yeah, we're like we're like two minutes. Yeah, go go ahead, Marcus. I mean, for me, don't invest more than you can actually afford. I mean, I I know I'm big on that to where like I've bought like I think the microphone that I use now, my big old giant phallic microphone that I have at home, I bought a week before I went on this the hugest streaming hiatus ever and had no use for it. All of a sudden it looked nice. Look nice on my desk. I was like, okay, yeah, eventually I'll get to use this. But then I think we, that's when we started Natural Friends. So, I was, yeah. hey, it worked out. But, yeah, don't buy things that you really can't afford just to do it. Like, like I said, like, you have to start somewhere. You don't have to be the best. You don't have to be Ninja, Shroud, um, Linus Tech Tips, none of that. You don't have to. Because um, they started the same way we started. Yeah, and, like, I've, I've had, like, I've been in several Best Buys listening to, like, Five teenagers huddled together, like, oh my God, like, look, that's the best mic right there. Like, Bruh, like, what are you doing? Oh, I'm just doing VO for these Rick and Morty videos I shoot. Like, get the snowball. It's like 20 bucks, Matt. Like, what are you doing? Like, do you have, like, how many how many subscribers do you have on YouTube? Oh, we haven't even created it yet. What? Matt, get, get out of here. <laughs> like, record it on the phone. <laughs> what are you doing? But yeah, it's like make, like, make sure that you're making, like, make investments, invest in yourself, but make sure that you're not going to be broke to where you're forced to play on cardboard boxes. Yeah. Like, start off at the cardboard box. Don't end up at the cardboard box. Um, for me, it would be, uh, it would be, one, get out of your own head. Like, you're, don't set a date as to when you're going to stream. Just stream. Um, again, yeah, you don't have to have the best stuff because we all – um, pretty much didn't start with everything right away. And then when you're looking at these people that have made it, remember you're looking at the end result. You're not looking at, oh, they started at this level. No, they didn't. And they really just started like us with two viewers and then it grew from there and then it grew from there. You're w looking at the end result um, and test your equipment. Um, get yourself about four friends and say hey I'm gonna go live now tell me what's wrong um, and if you can't fix it at that moment wing it um, if you can cool ask them because for me I didn't have anybody and I had this horrible echo and I didn't know until I watched the playback and I'm like oh that is utterly terrible and that's when I received text messages. yeah and I'm like hey Marcus how do I fix this echo and he's like well what's going on what do you have and I'm like my connect. <laughs> he was like, yeah, I can't help you. Um, but yeah, test out your equipment. Um, even if it's more than just your friends watching, your friends are going to tell you this is what's wrong and they might be able to help you. So those are mine. Anybody going to piggyback? Are we good? I think we're okay. All right, good. So um, we're going to take a quick break and then we're going to go to the Not Your Friends podcast. Bye, Not